Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using a, uh, a Vibrance GUI. And this is a, a really, really nice program. I'm using it right now, and uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm going to have this link in the description down below so you can go check it out. Um, it's, it's mostly for CSGO, but you can actually assign it to different games. Like uh, right now, I have it assigned to uh, H1Z1 when I open it up. Now, this is the control panel right here for this uh, digital uh, vi or the Vibrance UI. Um, I have H1Z1 added. It's really easy to add a game. You just go to add a game uh, or manually add a game because uh, H1Z1 won't show up there. So add a game manually. And you literally just go to your uh, your Steam apps in, where your uh, games are all downloaded onto on your hard drive. And you just uh, click the application, like H1Z1 uh, application. And you go open, and then it'll pop up right here. Now, uh, in these settings right here, the, digi the Windows Vibrance level, this controls your whole desktop, uh, no matter what game you have on. Um, right here, I'm going to click this. And it's going to bring us to our vibrance level of the game that we uh, put in the uh, vibrance GUI. So I have H1Z1 right here, and I have it up to 200, uh, the level 200 uh, vibrance level in game. Um, so, you know, save, and it's there. Now I'm going to minimize this. Now when I launch, um, when I launch H1Z1, it's good, the vibrance is going to go up. Now... You guys won't see the Vibrance. Uh, this is a uh, graphics card level of Vibrance. You won't be able to see it through OBS. So I have my GoPro here, and you guys are going to see uh, what my screen looks like uh, in my on in my perspective. So we're going to launch the game. So I'm going to launch the game, and... You guys are going to see firsthand what Digital Vibrance does. Or the Vibrance GUI. Okay. So Vibrance GUI is, is activated currently right now. Now you can see how brighter it is. Okay, so you can see how brighter it is. Um, the way this works is uh, what you, when you're clicked on, if you alt tab out of King of the Hill, the vibrance is going to, um, it's going to be lowered. So when I click out of H1Z1, see how the digital vibrance went away? But when I go click back on it, the vibrance comes back. So, um, and I have it on borderless, borderless windowed mode. Um, we're going to play a game solo and that's basically it it's really really easy to use and um there's nothing more to it just set it up and forget about it and whenever you play h1z1 it'll turn on just have it running in your uh um in your your task mat your task bar down here oh, i have windows you have it in your task bar down here vibrance gui and then when you click back on Digital Vibrance is there. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I do a whole bunch of technical stuff uh, for a variety of games. So uh, right now I've been playing H1Z1 and I've been having a lot of fun. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.